got your change. Without the e-bike, I wouldn't have entered a three-day stage race. It changes the whole game. You're having fun uphill and you're having fun downhill. My heart rate still goes to 178. You know, you go as deep as you do in a normal race, if not deeper. I don't think I'll ever go back. It's e-bikes from here on forward. At the FMB Wines to Wales, we've got the two e-bike categories. There's the racing group that goes up first. Guys out front that want to go full gas and uh, and head to head against each other, and then you got the guys at the back of the race, the tour, just out there to have some fun, enjoy, stop at the beautiful water points, see the views. The tour guys, those are people that just actually want to go along for the ride. There's a lot of people out there that wouldn't necessarily be riding bicycles if it wasn't for the e-bike. For me, it's just going places where I'd never be able to go. I'm riding an e-bike and I'm riding with my daughter actually, which has been our dream for so many years. You know, as opposed to spending a, what a, a six to eight hour day, you can now do it in three hours. It definitely has always been an event where everyone feels embraced. It lends itself to the e-bike mountain bikers because of the types of single track, the climbs. It's not that technical that you've got to get off and push. It's great to see so many e-bikes out and about at Wines to Wales, bringing so many more people to the sport, letting them enjoy the trails that we've been enjoying for years, see the views, get out and about. To have a bike that can really enable you to get out there, it's the dream and it's beautiful to see uh, all those smiling faces out there. I just think that beautiful word, Gies, is summed up by the e-bikers the e and I think it's, it's here to stay. I would go so far as to say that maybe one of these F&B Wines Wheels would purely be e-bikes. So let's see which way it goes.